Here's a sodium potassium pump in the body, right? Yeah. <laughs> what does it do? Mm. Pump sodium potassium. Pump sodium potassium across <laughs> membranes. How important is it and how does it work? Nah, it's really important. I, I think probably what we want to talk about is this trend to put salt on everything. Yeah. Pink Himalayan moon dust sea salt and salt shit. Salt sodium. FYI. Sodium, yeah. yeah. Sodium. So the, the prop, I like it. It's cool. It's really, works really well on somebody who's in the later stages of adrenal fatigue syndrome. Yeah. Syndrome, not adrenal fatigue, but the syndrome. Uh -huh. There's no such thing really as adrenal fatigue, but yeah. you've got a syndrome where you've got, you know, symptoms of having low adrenal output. Yeah. Typically when you get to that point and you have low adrenal output, you're also going to lose aldosterone, which is the, the enzyme, the, the hormone that uh, tells your kidneys to retain water. Okay. So. Sodium can be really valuable for those people because it increases yeah. energy. It helps because you need sodium for electrical impulses in the body. Um, the problem is you, you have people like everybody's doing it, whether they have these issues with their adrenal system or not, and no one's balancing it out with potassium. Do you think people just don't realize that you need that balance between the two? Right. Because yeah, because there our, there's no such thing as balance in our industry. That's why. So people are doing you know quarter teaspoon, half teaspoons of sodium all day and putting it on every single thing that they eat. And all the processed stuff that a lot of people eat is yeah. like high, 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 high in sodium so, already. Yeah. So what they're not doing is they don't, they don't eat enough fruits and veggies. So if you, if you look at I Which think. is where you get your potassium from, right? Yeah, predominantly from your predominantly yeah. fat. So if you look at if you look at hunter or hunter gatherer species uh -huh. in the past, sodium was a luxury. Like we yeah. didn't even have sodium Unless until to a salt mine. <laughs> well, we didn't have we didn't really have sodium back and forth until yeah. they started migrating across Asia and all the trade routes, yeah. and then they started trading. And, and sodium at one point was yeah. like trading gold. So. Um, now it's everywhere and, and what people aren't doing is eating enough fruits and veggies and they're putting sodium on everything. So whereas, whereas our ancestors would eat, you know, our ancestors would eat 10 grams of potassium a day mm -hmm. and, and only, you know, one and a half to two and a half grams of sodium. Yeah. Now people are eating five, six, seven grams or more and they're only eating, I mean, some of the, some of the food logs that we've done, we've analyzed and 800 milligrams of potassium. Mm -hmm. So is it a balance as in like it's, they feel they should be fairly equal or should you be... You should be a, more potassium than sodium. sodium. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But yeah, so, so you know, we typically will recommend people to cut their sodium down a little bit and increase their, their amounts of fruits and veggies. We might even use some type of potassium supplementation. What yeah. we find is they're much less acidic. Yeah. Their parasympathetic system starts to, starts to get balanced with their sympathetic, which cuts the stress down. They get better heartbeats. They feel better. They feel yeah. healthier. And then we'll start adding back a little bit of sodium. Now, keep in mind that's a generalized, yeah. that's generalized recommendation. If I have somebody that comes in and we send them for a Dutch test or a salivary test and yeah. they have crashed cortisol and they're super tired all day and they have low blood pressure, we're probably going to give them a lot of sodium and we might balance it out with a little bit of potassium. Yeah. So. Are there tests you can do to test your sodium potassium levels? Yeah, I mean, you have you have uh, labs will show it. Yeah. So if you look at a lab, and sometimes you often often you'll have either low potassium or normal potassium and really low sodium. Mm -hmm. um, that's key indicator that you might need more sodium. Uh, another thing is if you have low blood pressure. Okay. Um, so low blood pressure. If somebody stands up and they're getting dizzy and seeing spots, they can't regulate their blood pressure from seated to standing. Yeah. We're probably going to give them a little bit of sodium to 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 kick that back up a little and bit. And you can track your sodium potassium intake through MyFitnessPal, right? Through MyFitnessPal. Yep. And whenever we do food logs, I, I rarely will look at their macronutrients or their mm -hmm. calories. I want to see the food log because I'm going to look at their, how much sodium potassium. And typically, it's, it, it is not uncommon for me to see eight, five to eight grams of sodium a day and like less than or a little bit more than one gram of potassium. Right. Yeah.